Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yep. All right. Teacher, clear and strong. <laughs> <laughs> strong and loud. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Teacher, I have problem in the homework. Jesus Christ. Tell homework me. 50, 15. 15. Okay, let me check. Let me check the platform. Yes. Okay, let's see. Platform, platform. If you listen to some scream, it's my neighbor, you know. Uh, why don't I have normal neighbors? <laughs> eh, es lo que vimos ayer, entiendo yo. Uh -huh. Pero, so, it would be unit three. Yep. Okay. Unit three. Exercise. Oh, wait a sec. Tarea 13 of 15, you say. 15, okay. Was I late? Uh huh. It's the class yesterday. Yes. Y yesterday uh, was class uh, 15. Sí, you're right. But mm -hmm. yesterday was 16. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, ahora, el detalle está en que. No, el detalle es correcto. Sí, exacto. ¿Y qué le puso usted? ¿Was I late? Was I late? Yo entiendo que como que me están preguntando a mí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, yo coloqué: Yes, you were. Mm -hmm. Y ah, tiene toda la razón, realmente si yo le pregunto a usted, llegué tarde, usted me dice, sí, tú llegaste tarde, ajá. pero acá le han seteado como, yes, I was, no, I wasn't, con el mismo sujeto, como que usted coloqué, se responda también. Coloqué, yes, I was, uh -huh. and not. No le salió correcto. No. All right. Yes, coma, I, capital letter, was, punto. Ah, sí. point. Germán, ¿cuál es? Decís. La eh, 15. 15. De la Unit 3. Sí, es que de hecho en estas, en estas sobre todo, en Me las faltaba. short answers, la gramática y la puntuación sí es bien estricta. Ok. Me falta ver sí. Pero está raro no sé. porque si me preguntan a mí, ¿por qué tengo que Es que, ay, que como que usted diga, was I late? Y usted mismo se responde, yes, I was. Ah, y usted después ve el reloj y dice, ah, sí, sí, yo era. <risa> Tendría más sentido si usted le pregunta a alguien o es que alguien más le responda Yes, you were, no you were, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. la 3 de la 15 Ajá uh -huh. No, unidad 3 y la tarea 15 yeah, Sí, unidad 3, ah. última uh -huh. de la unidad 3 uh -huh. La tarea 15, tarea 15 Que no sé por qué está ahí ah, Hay un poquito de desorden, ahí no De esta debería estar en la unit 4, ¿verdad? Porque ya estamos en la Unit 4. Pero eh, la, la primera tarea de la Unit 4 va a ser la que me imagino veamos ahora. Porque no es esto. Most likely. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene razón. Bueno, ¿y las demás? ¿Las respondió? ¿Le salió correcta? Ahorita voy a... a... Con la misma situación, con la punctuation. Sí, cabal, con la punctuation. Mm, okay. Siempre tiene que ser yes con sí. inicial mayúscula, la Y. Y luego, este, coma, y el subject I, o sea, el pronombre I, siempre va a ser mayúscula. Y al terminar la short answer, también tiene que ir punto. Ok, eh, me están dando, teacher. Va. Ajá. Cool. Sí. Ok. Perfecto. Vaya. Thank you, teacher. Okay. 
No problem. Ups, creo que Elsie está así. No se va a poder conectar, dice. Mm. Yo tengo ratos de no ver el teléfono. <ríe> I was tired of the cell phone. Ok, perfect. Vaya, por si los demás tenían la misma situation, like Ferman, ¿qué es eso? Grammar and punctuation is really, really strict in English. It should be in every language, but in English, mainly. Okay, bye. Hoy sí ya podemos tomar la tendencia. Good evening, everybody. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Today is Thursday. Thanks, God. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow is the Teletón. Tomorrow will begin the Teletón and Finish Saturday all day. I mean, on, on Saturday. Yep, Saturday is finished. All right. They are very worried. Thank God it's not going to continue on Sunday. Mm. And you have yeah. to work, you have to work on, 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 on Saturday. Yep, normal. Really? Yep. Even if you have worked on the weekend. Yeah, of course. Explotadores. <laughs> Sí, no. La verdad es que cuando digo ya vengo, nos vemos. Bye. Nadie, nadie pregunta nada, pero, pero sí, normalmente después del fin de semana igual toca trabajar normalito. Ok. In the name of the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may God bless you. Amen. Amen, my Lord. Ok, Adriana. Carlos. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Hi, welcome. Daniel. Elsie. Sick this. Elsie. Fairman. Present teacher. Hey, so. Present. Hector. Present teacher. All right, Irma. No ha llegado aún. Isabel. Mayet. Hola, tarde, Isabel. Too late. Lucy. Present. Ahí. No nunca más conozco. Marta, Mayra. Tampoco se Mayra. Te doy empezó el after office, Mayra. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel. Present. Wendy. Wendy riding the motorbike. <laughs> And Jacqueline. Present. Hi, welcome. Hi. All right, she's really adventurous. Really, really. Well. It's time to rock and roll. <laughs> as, as her man was saying yesterday, just yesterday, we started the topic of the past of B, was, where, right? Was and weren't. And he's <laughs> completing the, the last, the still unit three, assignment 15 says, okay? That's, that's okay, no problem. Let's see. I'm gonna share the screen. Wait, wait a second, because I, I am in the last slide and I should be on the first one over here. Yes. Okay. After this class, only three classes more. And it's over. <laughs> and goodbye. By the way, do you receive classes in December? Don't you know? Don't you remember? So we don't know. Oh, no. Hopefully, no. <laughs> First God, no. <laughs> so that you can go on vacation. Yeah. Yes. All right. So today is Thursday, September 29th. Tomorrow is the last day of September. 
And on Saturday, it's Children's Day. So many institutions already start celebrating children. So if you have children at home, be nice to them. Okay. Respect their rights. All right. It's so important. Okay. So at the end of this session, participants will be able to evaluate meetings, information, hold on, products, services, and training. Oh my god, I need a new, I need to get a new computer. This computer is always dying. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do to review the use of past tense. Can you hear me well? I, I'm not using earphones. Perfect. Thank God. Just a second. I just need to connect that to the computer. Yeah, sometimes I just get this um, custom of getting kind of far from the computer. So I hope everything is clear. If something is not clear, just let me know, okay? All right. So definitely, these are the tasks. Okay, what elements, okay, are needed to be considered when evaluating a procedure from work? This is kind of what we're gonna review, okay? Or what we're gonna study. But then I have some questions. Look at the questions and give similar answers to the, to the platform exercise. <laughs> I know. And then you say, why? Well, it's similar, but we're gonna do it all together. So don't worry. It's just to refresh our mind. Let's see. We're gonna get this menu up here. Okay, the first thing we have to identify here is a subject. And the subject is she. So we have I, he, she, it, was. Yes? Okay, you, we, they, were. So we first identify that the subject is she, then what is the form of the verb be that I need to start the question with? Hmm? Well, was. Hmm. Was. Was she sad yesterday? Yes. yes. She was. Yes, she was. And period. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. But it's very period, important. Yes, but the period is already here, so I don't need to worry no. about it. Okay, but, but the, the, the punctuation. Mm -hmm. But the punctuation is very very important to yes the comma <clears throat> the capital letter yes the period is very really important all right they teacher uh huh I have a little question tell me what is what is the difference between uh, where and where? <laughs> okay, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. Just a minute. Okay, were they at home last Monday? No? No, no they aren't. They, they weren't. No, they weren't. Weren't. Okay. No, they weren't. All right. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to write um, Hector's question here so you're talking about this yep and this and yes true okay so the first one is where it's a little bit like una j pero bien es likely okay Ooh. porque aquí hay una h que no está aquí abajo where? Es como cuando se dice hello hi Una J, pero levemente aspirada porque está precedida por una W. Entonces, where? Obviously, personas como de los estados del sur, como Texas, que la, la hacen como mucho más fuerte. Where have you been? Uh -huh. But, yes. <laughs> but the other one is como where? La U, uh, un poquito más vocalizada. Where? Más yendo hacia la vowel. Y la otra es where? Where are you from? Where, where were you? Where, where were you last night? 
¿Ya? Sí, ahí están las dos. <risa> so, es, un es como un poquito más fuerte la, la de arriba. Where. Mm. Y okay. la otra es where. Where. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, right. Next. Where. Where. <laughs> Were you in first grade last year? No, no I, was, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Ahí tiene que ser el I en capital letter. Si no, este es un error garrafal en English. Usted, usted mismo se está como no valorando si se pone en minúscula. Yes? Y se dice no, I wasn't. Yes? Okay, your brother. We're talking about he. Him was was your brother. Was your brother ill? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <coughs> ill is a synonym of sick, pero mucho más grave. Mm. In, the, in the hospital. Ill. <laughs> Ill. Yes. Ill. Was your brother ill? Yes, he was. Serious health condition. Okay. Yeah. Next. Sam is there. Uh huh. Jack is there, there right? Mm -hmm. Where? Where? Jack and Sam is Jack sleeping Sam at is midnight. Sleeping at midnight. Yes. <laughs> yes, it were. Yes, yes, they were. Yes, yes they yes. were. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The movie, like yesterday. It. yesterday. <laughs> what? It. Uh, aquí también, al iniciar, si se fijan todo, iniciamos con capital letter. Tiene que ser con mayúscula, si no es un error. Y si está seteado así en la plataforma, aunque usted sepa, bueno, la palabra que es, pero como no la puso con inicial mayúscula, mal. Was the movie funny? No. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay. Next. They were. Where? 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 Okay. At school a week ago. Were they at school a week ago? Yes, they were. They were. Yes, they were. Okay. All right. ¿Sí se fija? Estas son questions. Yes, no questions. And short answers in past. With the verb be in past. Y no necesita un auxiliar. Eso es algo grandioso del verb be que se auxilia solo. Yes. En cambio, los otros verbos, los verbos de acción, sí necesitan un auxiliar, que es el did. Pero lo chivo es que para todos es did. Ok, para todos los verbos, siempre y cuando la oración o la pregunta esté en pasado, va a ser did. Yes? All right. Bye. Ya puedo borrar. Me I erase clear. All right. Clear all the drawings. All right. Ahora un pequeño reto. So, one, two, three, four. Four. Questions que las van a tener que poner en orden. Aquí están un poco desordenadas las palabras. So you're going to put them in order. We're going to work in a small group. Mm, yes. Here we go. Ahorita se los comparto.
Good evening, guys. Okay. Only teacher. What? <laughs> hello, Carlos. Ah, hello. Vi que no no estaban. Como no iba a hablar a nadie. <laughs> este. <coughs> was. Sería así, ¿verdad? Was she in class yesterday? Mm, sería así. Was she class in yesterday? In class yesterday. <coughs> Was she in class? Yes. Compartir. ¿Se puede ver? Ah, sí, sí. Hoy oh, sí. Mm -hmm. En este caso. Yo creo que es was she in class yesterday? Was was ah, sí. was she in the class yesterday pero no aparece de solo es was she in class yesterday ajá uh -huh. como que si estuvo en clases ayer ajá uh -huh. where they Uy. La segunda. Ajá. Ajá. Digo, como es pregunta, para mí que empieza con where. Where they. Where they. Ajá. Eh. At. Espérame, espérame. Where they. At supermarket at the week. Last. Last week. Last week. Ajá. Last week. Vamos a ver, where they, el verbo sería ser, la, 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 no, espérame. Last, dijimos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Where es que they, me confunde last, el, el verbo. ¿Cuál sería? Um, last. ¿Para mí que last? Last, ajá. Were they last supermarket at the week? No. No, at supermarket. At, at the supermarket. Come on. Were they last at... ¿Cómo sería usted? <laughs> Were they last at the supermarket? Ah, pucha. Were... Were they last at week? Week last. Vale, entonces no sé si sería were they last the mm -hmm. supermarket at week? No. Pero para ¿Qué dice usted? At supermarket last week. Ah, chipas. <risa> bueno. No sé. Last week. Si le pongo your week a ago, no suena. Vaya, quiero ver. Where, where. Eh, you. A week ago. A week. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esta no existe. Así Hi, digo. teacher. Tenemos una duda. Hi. Se puede decir, where, where? <laughs> <laughs> sí, ¿dónde estabas? Ah, estamos con la duda del where, where. <laughs> where were you? Where were you? ¿Dónde estabas tú, verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Una semana antes. Ajá, hace una semana. Ah, hace una semana. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues será la duda, teacher. Gracias. All right.
Ah, pues el otro sería when was your atrás. Ah, entonces quería como a dónde fuiste la semana pasada. La semana pasada. Uh -huh. O sea que al final. La última. Así lo vamos a dejar, ¿verdad? Where, where, you? where you I go. Where were you ago a week? Teacher, ahí estoy perdido. Where were Correct, you sí. week ago? Okay, where sí, were eh? you a week, week ago? A week ago. Uh -huh. Ajá, where were you week ago? Okay. When was your birthday? Well, the first two we do it, but yes. I have to put out the the screen and the erase, but we can do again. Yeah. Sí, listo. De complete. We're ready. Las pronunciamos. Demon. Ahí me corrís. Very. Put the word in the correct order to make question. Watching class yesterday. Where they ate at the supermarket last week. Where were you go uh, with? Ago. When was you build it? Perfect. Perfect. Wow. You just terminate the exam. Todo. You finalized the exam. When me mandaron el mensaje que ya debemos ir a la 14 y va para la 11. Siguiente día, terminé todo. El examen me dice. Hasta el examen final. Sí, ya todo el tren. Pero cabal, no había visto esto. Varias cosas no había visto, me gustaron. Ok. Finished, right? Yes, good. Okay, how was the first one? Mm -hmm. Was she in class? Was she in class yesterday? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Was she 
in class yesterday. Okay, was she in class yesterday? No, she wasn't. <laughs> okay, next. Were they at supermarket last week? Mm -hmm. Wait a second, okay. Were they at the supermarket, right? Last week. Were they at the supermarket last week? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Next. Mm -hmm. Where you were a week ago? Where were you? No, I were. Ah. Ah. Yo lo pus me pusimos diferente con, ¿Sí? con la compañera. I go. Where were you a week ago? ¿Dónde estabas hace una semana? Huh. <laughs> Don't remember me, but I returned. Yes, talk, talk to two women. <laughs> okay. I was in my house. I was in my house. I was on vacation. <laughs> in English class. Uh-huh. Next. When was your birthday? When was your birthday? Okay. And that was it. That was all. Just four questions. No questions, no problems. No, easy peasy. Yo. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Well, as we continue studying, let's see. Okay. What elements can be considered when evaluating? Evaluating the work, evaluating a project. There are many things that we evaluate at work, right? Who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? These are two very interesting questions, okay? Probably you are or you are not in charge of doing any of this. So tell me on the chat, I am in charge or I'm not in charge of buying supplies at workplace, at my workplace. Or I know who is in charge of buying the supplies. For example, at my workplace, the I think the principal assistant is the one that is in charge of buying a lot of supplies, like cleaning supplies, like office supplies, many different things, right? So just tell me through the chat. Who is in charge of buying the supplies at your workplace? Okay, I'm going to read your messages. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién es el encargado de comprar cosas? <laughs> in, my, in my work teacher, mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, uh, there is department mm -hmm. buying is Mm, there are many people. There are many people who work in that department. Yeah. Mm, so they are in charge of doing that. Okay. All right. And the others? 
what about the others all right and just take one moment yeah the purchasing department or the purchasing manager right so those are the ones that are in charge of buying supplies different type of supplies of course that will depend of the event of the necessity of the type of company because i mean not all companies buy the same supplies right okay all right okay my word there's an equipment for purchase okay oh there's a team there's a staff right for purchasing you can say that okay we have a person to do the supplies to buy the supplies to purchase the supplies that's right okay all right perfect hey wendy how was the commute on your motorbike tonight was it safe hello good evening All hi teacher right. how are you just fine nice all right se le escucha no se escucha bien Okay. No. There's an interfer interference. Oh, I see. All right. Great. All right. As I was mentioning, <clears throat> yes, through the conversation, they are going to be talking about purchasing supplies, right? So we're going to have this. Actually, you have this conversation. Yes. Says, listen to your teacher read the conversations and practice with a partner. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did. Robert, the price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product, of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, so this person seems to be working for um, a clothing uh, factory. So they have machines. So they buy a spare parts. That means that they have to buy some parts that probably are not working anymore. So they buy these parts, right? You know what a sewing machine is? Any idea? No? What is a sewing machine? To do clothes? Exactly, a machine to confectionate clothing. Confection. So you have lots of factories that work on this industry, right? Obviously, in El Salvador, they're called maquilas, but maquilas not necessarily are the factories that make clothes. I mean, they can be other type of factories, right? They make other type of products. All right, so that is the sewing machine. So it says, hi, Eric, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product, of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. So probably they already have the, the place where they get this type of parts for the sewing machine. They have a supplier, right? So that's why he asked, how was the customer service? So he needs the evaluation of the customer service. It was nice as usual, okay? All right, 
Any question? Any doubt? Any difficult word that you might consider? Right. Yeah. What is downtown, teacher? Downtown is como el centro de la ciudad, como el, digamos, la parte más comercial de una ciudad. Okay. Downtown. Like San Salvador downtown, que está ahorita under construction. <laughs> Donde están todos los business. Okay. Anything else? No? Spur. Spur parts como la parte de repuesto. Okay. In the, in the cars can be the spare tire, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that is the spare part. So maybe there was a part that was not working, so they needed to change this part of the machine. So that is the spare part. Okay, something else? No? Okay, good. So we're going to listen, okay, obviously I'm going to listen to you practicing the conversation and then you're going to answer the questions. All right, uh, I bet you already have this material, so practice as many times as possible so that you can feel really confident with the pronunciation, all right? Let's go. Maybe we get somebody else to work with. All right. Let me see. Okay. It's weird, but still fine. Hazel, o lo está viendo. Sí. Ok, si quieren, entonces, ¿cómo, cómo nos organizamos? Eh... Isabel y Hazel, si quieren. Sí. Ok. Comienzo yo. Bye. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the Sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. 
It will be ready tomorrow. Hey, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Hector? Bueno, Hank. Yo soy Hank. Hey. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part to this? <laughs> ok, entonces. Hi. Si gustan. Eh, ¿Quién quiere ser Hank y Eric en esto? Si quiere, empiezo. Ok, usted es Hank. Espérenme, no Hi, Eric. I did you buy a day spar by a day spar part of no for for day is swim. Did you get the word that they say my swim machine 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 ever machine. Yes, I did, Robert. The the price was twenty. No, perdón, seven seventy eight dollars. <laughs> okay, I need the evolution of the product. Wendy, la T H E no es D, es 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 más como una A, es como una D. Da. They es ellos. Ajá, es que cuando si usted dice they es ellos. Sería da. Decir Sería da. yes, I did the praise. Ah, perdón, perdón, la de abajo. Sería ok, I need eh, the evolution of. Eval, eh, ajá, evolution, eval, evaluation. Evolution. Evolution of the product. Ajá. Sí. Okay. Of the new product. Uh, thank you, Reed. That's right. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Agreed. Did you or it online? Or I... La machina diciendo. <laughs> Vaya. What was the price of the product? Ah, easy, easy, easy. The Dice, price was 78. 78. Mm -hmm. The price was 78 dollars. Y la última dice, how was the customer service at the store? How was the customer service at the store? Imagínate. ¿Cómo fue el servicio al cliente en la tienda? Ajá, es la última. Y eso lo puso, ajá. It was nice as usual. Ajá. Como siempre. Como siempre. Ajá, fue bueno was nice. Entonces sería, it was nice, así. As usual. Uh, uh, al acabar. Entonces, si gusta, practiquemos las preguntas y respuestas. Uh -huh. Vago la primera y, y ustedes ven quién contesta la, la primera. What did nice. Eric need to buy? Um, he to buy a spare part of the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. la, de, la segunda. What was the price of the product? The price is $78. No, pero creo que tiene que ser was, porque was se eh, pregunta en pasado. What's the price? The price? Was, uh, 
The price was seventy eight dollars. And the last one, how was the customer service at the store? It was nice as usual. Usual. Okay. ¿Te gusta? Pregunta. ¿Qué pregunta? Y lo demás. <laughs> ¿Gustan las preguntas y, y contesta Isabel? ¿Teacher? Ok. Um, what did Eric need to buy? Isabel, vas a contestar. Yes. Uh, divide the square part for the sewing machine. What was the price of the product? The price of the product was dollar. How was the customer service at the store? It was nice as usual. Tenemos, hay tres, distorsionado. Son poetas. De ahí funciona el link de los videos. No me había fijado en eso aquí. The product. It was seventy-eight, verdad? Yes. Who yes. was the customer service at the store? The me dice no está durmiendo. No. No, estoy leyendo tal vez porque como tengo el teléfono veo para abajo. Entonces dice que, que cómo es el... Cómo se va a estar... Okay. Cómo es el, el servicio técnico de la tienda, ¿verdad? en la tienda. It was, It was nice. nice. As usual, o sea... Digamos que está bien. <ríe> Esa sería la respuesta. Y sería, it, wa, eh, it was nice. It was nice. Digo yo. Short answer, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, fine. Ok. You finished. Yep. Uh, All right. ¿Cómo se dice repaso? Practice. Review. Review. Ok. Review. Have a review. All yeah. right. Vaya, entonces, no sé si quiere hacer usted Hank, Wendy. Y, ok. Y yo soy Eric. Hi, Eric. I did you buy day is, is part, part for the, the swing. Machin. Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seventy-eight. Okay, I need the evolution of the product. Of the new product. Uh they read. That's right. That's right. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Ah, oh, no uh, pregunta, perdón. Espérame, I... le, le entoné mal porque no es pregunta. Yo la entoné como pregunta. It will be ready tomorrow. Ahí sí. Online. Or I did you buy it 
downtown. Yes, where to get it by myself downtown. Who was the customer service? It was nice as usual. No sé si quiere practicar usted siendo okay. Hank, Jacqueline. Está bien. Hi, Eric. Did you okay. buy the spare part for the swim machine? No sé si quiere ser usted, Eric. Wendy. Yes, I did, Robert. Uh, the price was uh, 70 day. Okay, I need a uh, okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. Um, I it will be be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order? It's online or did buy it tomorrow? Yes, I went to get it by myself down town. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Ok, okay. Eh, Jacqueline, no sé si quiere practicar conmigo. No. Usted siendo. Sí, Frank. está bien. Vaya. No. Otra vez yo. Usted comenzó ah, la vez pasada. Eleven. Maybe this weekend I will do it. But. Um, I. I... No diría estoy al día. <laughs> You're set. You're ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right, you come back. Good. My goodness. I seem to have lost. <laughs> yes, the conversation was right here, right? Okay. You practice, you discover that there were some really kind of difficult or hard words to pronounce, like sewing. This E is kind of ignore, it's kind of O, sewing machine, right? Evaluation, probably. Great. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. All right, let's see. We are going to have a couple of you saying the conversation. So the first two will be Hazel and Christina. Okay. Yes. I have. All right. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spark part to see when machine? Okay. 
No answer from Hazel. All right. What about... What about Wendy? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so maybe Christy, you can start once again. How many are you? Yes, hi. Hi, Eric. Did you buy this part, part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. Uh, that was a 70 day dollar. Okay, I need the evaluation of the products. Of the new product? That's right. It will uh, be ready tomorrow. Great. <laughs> did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes. No, excuse me. Uh, read, did you or? No, no, no. Yes, I went to get it by myself. Yes. Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Downtown. How was the customer service? I was nice as usual. 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 Exactly, it was nice as usual. Okay. Somebody else? Volunteers? Yo. All right. <laughs> okay, Fermán and... and Isabel. Isabel. Yes. And Go. I, I will you be here. <laughs> <laughs> they will be him. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did. I did, Robin. The price was seventy-eight dollar. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Who was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Oh, great. It was nice as usual. How, how was the customer service? Tell me how they treated you. <laughs> okay, great. Somebody else? Hi, Mayra. Probably she wants to practice. <laughs> with? With Carlos. Carlos, Carlos. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Take me. Yeah, me. Okay. Mm. Hi, Eric. Do you buy this this spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was a dollar. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. You will be ready tomorrow. Great. Do you do you order it online or do you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Oh, what's the customer service? Sorry. It was nice as usual. It was nice. It was kind as usual. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> For a better pronunciation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's let's answer the questions related to this conversation. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay, one second. All right, what did Eric need to buy? Mm -hmm. Eric needs part. to buy for a spare part. A spare part, a a spare part for a sewing machine, right? So I hope you answer right the question. Eric need, needed to buy a spare car for sorry for a sewing machine all right hold on great okay what was the price of the product it's um, it was seventy-eight dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, seventy-eight dollars. Yes. Okay. How was the customer service at the store? It was nice as usual. It was nice as usual. So the usual. We go to that store probably, right? Good. It was nice as usual. All right. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Time out. Break time now. The attendance. Once again, let's. I'm gonna mention the ones that I. Carlos Present Cristina All right Let me see Okay Uh Elsie not here to sick for man Present teacher. Hazel. Present teacher. Hector. Present teacher. Lucy. Samuel. Oh, Mayra. I forgot about you. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you. Isabel, too. Present. Hi. And then Irma's not here, right? No. Wendy. I am here. Hi. And Jacqueline. I saw Jacqueline. Present. Present, Hi. Lucy. Hi. Oh, yes. All right. Good, good, good. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Vamos a ver, ¿quién recuerda los verbs in past? No, I don't remember. <laughs> ok. Ahí viene el pasado, es thought. ¿De qué verbo estamos hablando? En Take. Verbo. Take. Thought. ¿Cuál sería en presente? Think. think. That's right. Thought el pasado de think. Huh? Went. Go. Go. Go to. Go to. Mm -hmm. Thought. Mm. How. 
Beach. Beach. All right. <laughs> Found. Find. Find. Met. Meet. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. See. 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 I saw. Mm -hmm. Give. 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 Gave. Sell. Sell. Sold. Oh, we it is build, 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 take, take, took, oh, take, yes, take, take, teacher, take, mm -hmm. take. I got it wrong then. <laughs> win, win, win. win. I just got hit make, brother. Sí, terrible. Run. Run. Wrong. Run. <laughs> Sing. Sing. Sang. Drink. Drink. Drank. <coughs> spend, spent. Made. Ah, made in China. Mm -hmm. Made in China. <laughs> <laughs> made in Taiwan. Um, uh, have, have, have. Bye. Bye, boy. Bye. Bye. Ooh. Three. Three. Try. Try. One. Tell. 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 Told. <laughs> took. Take. Take. Took. We just missed one. All right, cool. Okay, great. That is for the pass of the irregular verse. See nota in su manual. Hay cosas que están en pasado, obviously. Vamos a continuar con la lección, pero déjenme just move something. All right, right here. Okay. So, how to use the verb be in the past with just no questions? Mm -hmm. Use the past of be to ask questions about situations in the past. A structure, the be, the subject, and the complement. Was the training interesting? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Ustedes tienen una yes no question, obviamente tienen la posibilidad de responder. Yes or no. Por eso se llama yes, no question. Okay. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were the employees at the conference? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay. So read the following service and write questions to evaluate them using the simple past and past of B. Then ask the questions to a classmate. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer. At a spare, yes, the price was $300. The brand was readable. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. The second one. On January 2nd, I bought the Reese part that we requested. The price was $30. Each of them, each 
Okay, thirty dollars each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Okay, ¿cuál es el reto en este ejercicio? Definitely, primero entender cada uno de los reportes, cada una de las evaluaciones. Okay, y luego vamos a crear preguntas, obviously usando was and where. So one more time, read the following services and write questions to evaluate them using simple paths and paths of it, then ask the questions to a classmate. Para si tuviera que crear questions de el primer report, del primer announcement. Okay. Hmm. When did you buy the spare part of the printer? I bought it on November 1st. Acá no sé si ustedes déjenme revisar Vale. Es un poquito más adelante en el manual para hacer la estructura de cómo hacer las questions cuando el auxiliar es did. Pero igual esto ya había aparecido también, si no estoy mal, en las previous conversations. Sobre todo la de la de ayer tenía. Yes. Okay. Did you attend the training last week? Entonces, como, si quiero hacer una question acerca del pasado con otro verbo que no es el be, voy a usar el be. Yes. Entonces, si yo estuviera preguntando a alguien acerca de esto, podría ser, when did you buy? A spare part for the printer. Y la respuesta podría ser, I bought the spare part on November 1st. Veamos. Okay. When did you buy the spare part for the Printer. Mm -hmm. That would be one question. Solo acerca del primer anuncio, ¿verdad? Del primer paragraph. Y la respuesta podría ser: I bought it on November 1st. Yes. Ok. ¿Quién más podría preguntar? Teacher, uh -huh. una pregunta. Entonces, por ejemplo, ahí dice I bought a spare part y usted cuando elabora la pregunta y coloca el, coloco el verbo en presente. Sí, así es. El verbo en la question va en base form porque ya tengo el auxiliar. Ok, pero en la respuesta tiene que ir en pasado. Sí, pues ya no necesito la auxiliar. Ahí tiene que ir. Yo la compré en tal fecha. No puedo decir, de... I did buy. No. Ok. El auxiliar solo me sirve para las questions y para el negativo, que tendría que usar el did not, didn't. I didn't. Ajá, por ejemplo, se dice, yo no fui al trabajo hoy. Yo no, I didn't go to work today. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero toda afirmativa es en pasado. Ahí necesito el verbo en pasado. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, ¿cómo haría la cuestión acerca del price? When the... Aquí no the... necesitamos el when porque estamos hablando del price. What is the price? Ajá, uh -huh. what is the price? Podría ser en simple price. Ajá, uh -huh. el is, pongámoslo en pasado. Yes. What was the price? Ajá. Uh -huh. What was yeah. the price? Y aquí dice, the price was, esa sería la respuesta, the price was $300. Ajá. Si queremos preguntar cómo estuvo el customer service. Ya lo tenían en la conversation en la que practicaron. Oh, wow. How was, was the customer service? Y la respuesta literal, como está acá, the customer service was great. Because we received the information we needed. 
si la quieren agregar, pero si ustedes simplemente dejan de the customer service was great, hasta ahí está. ¿Ya? Entonces, más o menos lo mismo que tienen que hacer con el siguiente. ¿Okay? Vale. Vamos a dejar hasta acá para que ustedes lo puedan resolver. Let's see with somebody else. Con alguien más. Ok. Here we go. formular preguntas en parte. Sí. Entonces, eh, was, la primera que, que era um, when was you buy this pair par no sé. Was. When buy was you buy a spare spare part for the printer for printer no, no, no. for printer for the printer mm -hmm. Y entonces la respuesta tiene que ser I was by in was in or on in on on November rain November first parece Repítala, porfa, ¿cómo le quedó? Yo la, la, la pregunta la he puesto, no sé, díganme ustedes. Ah, ya. Then ask the question to a classmate. Okay. On November 1st, I wrote a spare part of the, the printer at a spare ES. The price was $300, the brand was Riddle. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the read parts that were requested. The price was $30 each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Read the following service and write questions to evaluate them using simple pass and pass or fee. Then ask the question to a classmate. Okay. Uh, after we read the two dialogues or the two the two parts, we I have to know. make we have to make a question about it. For example, when I when I bought the spurt of the printer, okay, the answer will be on November first. What uh, was the price? or well, the price was, the answer, $300. Uh, which brand was the printer? 
the brand was Riddle. Ridwell. 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 The brand was Ridwell. How was the customer service? The customer service was great. From the second part, we will do the same. And try to do it. The try to do the, the second. And I help if you want. Okay, is the the question? Um, what were you bought? It was this three hundred, three thousand, three hundred. And the answer would be. It was. It was. $300. Entonces, la respuesta sería esta. Podemos preguntar cuál fue la marca de, del repuesto. Sí. Uh, Ringwell. Ah, Ringwell. Eh, ¿Cuál? Eh, What was otra vez? What was the brand? ¿Cuál que no es? Bueno, ya me estoy confundiendo con la pregunta. ¿Cómo se pregunta? Mano? ¿Cuál que no es? ¿Cuál le ocupas el what? Así como ahorita acabamos de preguntar ¿Cuál fue el precio? What was? Ok. Entonces, ¿Cuál fue la marca? What was brand? Pero aquí sería the brand. Puede ser the brand was o it was. It wasn't. It was real well. Where read read is word is in brown. Read yeah. word. Yes, I yes it was. <laughs> um, you fearson fearson boxing. Podemos hacer dos en una en la última. Por ejemplo, how was the customer service? Ah, eh, it was great. Y podemos poner why. Ah, because we received all the information we needed. ¿Me entendieron? <ríe> o sea, preguntamos... Eh... ¿Cómo fue el servicio? ¿Y por qué? Pero yo creo que bueno. siempre necesito, el, o sea, no necesitamos usar el, el tema ese del pasado. Paz, porque si preguntamos guay. <ríe> sí, ¿verdad? Podemos Ajá. poner por qué fue bueno. Ajá, y sí. Guay. Guay, guay. How was sería primero. How was... Customer service. Teacher, I have to, excuse me for a few seconds. All right. No I have problem. a trouble in the office. Okay, go ahead.
me corrige. Bueno, where was by uh, a spare part of the of the print. Uh -huh. Esa fue la primera, ¿verdad? Sí. La Pero segunda. You, Ajá. Uh -huh. es, es where, ¿verdad? O es uh -huh. was. Ah, tiene razón, es where. You es, no, es was, was. Was es. Ah, pues sí. sí. Déjeme. Ah, pues ahí, eh, where. You is where. Ah, pues entonces tenía when were you buy. Where when. When where. Ok, ahí lo teníamos mal entonces. Sí. Uy, se fue Wendy. Ay, perdón, perdón. Quité. Ajá. When where you buy a spare part for printer. Y la respuesta como es I. Tiene que responder en what. Uh -huh. I was by on November 1st. Exacto. Ok. Y la segunda creo que se desconectó, Wendy. Sí, se desconectó. How... Ah, no, aquí usted había puesto what was, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, what was the price. Pero así lo deje simple. No sé si, si está bien así. Hay que darle más, más contexto. What was the price? What was the price of the bar? No, of the part of the printer. The printer. Uh -huh. Of the part. Real and singular. Part is now. Eh, part, una, una parte. Uh -huh. Es singular. Entonces la respuesta yo le pongo, the price was uh, 300. 300. What is real well? Uh -huh. La tercera. How was the customer service? Uh -huh. how, how was? How was? The customer service. Mm -hmm. Siempre es que recibe la información que necesitamos. Dice. The customer service was great. Porque de customer service, sí, que es uno. Sí. Es él. Was great. Ajá. Aquí dice que siempre recibimos la información que necesitamos, pero es de nosotros. La respuesta en este caso, ¿cómo sería? De I. De recibo. We were receiving information. Lo dejamos como we. No, siempre sí. recibimos. Sí, sí, we, 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 we were receive information. What was we the were. We need it. Need. We need. Was right. La segunda. Es casi que es lo mismo, mire. Ajá. Porque el otro día de Brown. Pues. The price, el precio fue 300 cada una. En ellos instalaron el, el, en la segunda machine. Uh -huh. Machine was working properly. Properly, ¿qué es? No sé, como... ¿sí? La máquina está trabajando como no. apropiadamente, quizás. 
No trabajo, pero como está en pasado, what? Atra was working pro okay. properly. Properly. Veamos qué es eso. Ajá. Pegamos de tu job. Properly. Va. Toda la fecha. ¿Dónde se compraron? Mm. ¿Dónde se compraron las, <coughs> las partes? When did you buy okay. your parts? Ajá. Ahí podemos decir. Ah, ¿Cuándo o dónde? ¿Dónde? Es que Ritz, entiendo yo que ahí es como decir impresa o le sigo. O si se llama el. Yo entiendo. Ajá, como que el nombre Parts. propio. No, por Parts. favor, que es en mayúscula. Ajá. <coughs> como que es el lugar de, de algo, pues como. Como que es la marca. ¿no? Ajá, impresa, okay. respuesta, una tontera así. <risa> sí. Digo yo. Se compraron en Chris Parts. Fíjate que ya tengo dudas si es lugar o es marca. Pero si es lugar o marca es lo mismo, ¿no crees? Pues no, no, no es lo mismo, olvídalo. Mm. <risa> ya, ya sí, pensé. no, Ritz es una parte de, del nombre de la parte. ¿Cómo así? Una cremallera. Eso es. Uh -huh. Cremallera es Ritz. Sí. Es algo muy engranaje. ¿eh? Como los hiperes, por ejemplo. Que te engranan uno con otro. Ok. Entonces, crema ahí. Una parte de una máquina que se... Vaya, entonces, una pregunta. No sale crema ahí, ¿no? Después de, de, del precio, dice, the price was, o sea, el precio eh, como, eh, fue 300 dólares, 30 dólares cada uno. 30 Ajá. Y ellos estuvieron instalando en las máquinas de coser. Entonces podemos preguntar. Es que, pues, no, no estoy entendiendo el, todo el texto, para ser honesto. Es que, vaya, para comenzar, creo que Ritz no es cremallera. ¿Cómo no? Ritz, eso sí lo tiene. Así lo tira. A mí me sale Ritos. No, a mí sí. Entonces, es, que es que como ya unido en contexto unido ajá, partes Ritz me salen a mí hi teacher hi I, I need help suffering <laughs> yeah. parte de la cremallera sí, sí. Uh, what is what is the dilemma <laughs> What is the dilemma? Read parts, parte de la cremallera. What is read parts? O es, o es un nombre propio de algún almacén o algo así. Sí, déjeme ver el texto que se me está en la pantalla en este momento. Wait a second. Ese es el segundo. Sí. 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 Sí, tiene que ser una parte. Yo compré la parte del, uh -huh. de la cremallera. Uh -huh. Y el precio era de 30 dólares. So, cuando, cuando le dio el requerimiento. de uh -huh. price fue. Sí, 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 es la, es la, es la parte, sí, así se llama. Ok. Ajá, es la parte que le hacía falta a la, a la máquina. En este caso, la sewing machine, ¿verdad? La máquina de coser. Y luego la máquina ya trabajó apropiadamente. Sí. Se podría preguntar, what did you buy? Ajá, uh -huh. I bought the rich parts. Ok. What did you buy? Y 
the red part. What did you buy? No, what did you buy? The red part. No, what did you buy? Nada más. What did you buy? La respuesta, la respuesta sería de okay. the red parts. The red. Or I bought the red parts. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I bought. I bought. I bought. Ah, sí, verdad. Uh -huh. <coughs> bought. The real part. I put on her in thirty dollar. What do you say? Like how was how much was it or what was the price of the of the red parts? Y está bien si pregunto what was the price of mm -hmm. this? Yeah, sure. It was it was thirty dollars. It was thirty dollars. I was thirty dollar. It, it was. It was. It was. Porque está refiriendo al objeto. Okay. It was. Mm -hmm. Verdad que teníamos una de. ¿Dónde fueron estos? Ah. No. Eh, la pregunta no era dónde fueron, sino que ellos este se, estuvieron instalando en. en que era sewing sewing machine en la, la máquina de, de, de coser, perdón. coser ah en la máquina de coser uh -huh. sewing sewing uh -huh. se me olvida o sea, esa palabra pensaba yo en qué máquinas fueron instalados uh -huh. ah bueno en qué puede ser eh, what uh -huh. What, what was? O donde? Como es donde, teacher? Where? Where? Uh -huh. Where? Ajá, pero como en este caso, para ser más específico, on what machine? On uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. On what? On. ¿Empieza con on o termina con on? Puede ser on which machine or on what machine? Uh -huh. On what? Mm -hmm. On what on what machine was, verdad? Mm -hmm. Where or where the part installed? Ah, teacher, me está confundiendo. No sería teacher. Teacher, que le digo algo muy sencillo. Teacher, no sería on what was machine. On what machine? Usted lo que quiere preguntar es que en qué máquina se, se instaló claro. las partes. Ajá. Ajá. Y las partes son plurales. Ajá. Ajá. Ustedes se están quedando solo con el was. Uh, on what ah, machine? sí, where. Uh, on what where. On where. what machines were the parts installed. Ok. O sea, que es primero, primero es machine y después es where. Ajá. Es como usted dice, en qué máquina fueron instaladas las partes. Porque en este caso lo que está preguntando, o sea, lo que determina el sujeto de la pregunta son las partes. Son what machine solo que me sirve de referencia para decir en qué máquina. Entonces el sujeto es. Las partes. Las partes. Ah. Uh -huh. O what. Uh -huh. Ya entendí. O what machine. Where. Where. Uh -huh. 
it is stolen. Así where, the parts. The parts. Is stolen. Where the parts is stolen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh well, machine where the stuff where uh, the parts. Ah, que ya le entendí por qué es que está preguntando eso, Carlos. No le había preguntado. Entonces, aquí el subject, porque las la partes. Aquí sería, uh -huh. Por ah, eso es que va después del where, where. porque las right. partes. Es, yeah. The parts, ok. Uh -huh. Stalo. Entonces, the parts en este caso sería como they. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya. Ah, bueno. Me costó. <risa> Por el what machine al inicio. What machine. Ajá, sí, se me había confundido. The parts were installed on the sewing machine. All. All. Sewing machine. Entonces, the parts were in the sewing machine. Así. Installed. Installed, perdón. Installed. Mm -hmm. In the sewing machine. No, teacher, esto está difícil. <laughs> It's not fácil. It was easy. It was okay. very easy. Ya está en el sueño, exacto. Pues ya está. Ok, creo que esas serían las preguntas. Ya estuvo. Digo yo. Vaya. Digo a Carlos. Sí, no, ¿qué pasa? Me acuerdo que habías hecho otra al final, de properly. Ah, la de properly. Eh, nosotros, eh, how was it working the machine? No sé si how está bien. was the machine working? Ah, uh, was the machine. Ajá, uh -huh, the machine. Work. Ah, por lo mismo. Uh -huh. But how was, how was the machine? The machine. Work. The machine. Ok, entonces en este caso, si estamos hablando de la máquina, uh -huh. podemos uh, decir the machine was uh -huh. working properly. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, it's machine. Oh, it's a machine. Oh, it, uh -huh. <coughs> the machine was. Okay. Okay. Y al final pasaron cinco. Long. La otra. Cinco también. Sí. Yes. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Tell me. ¿Qué os ha pasado? <risa> estamos aprendidos que ya estaban en la clase y nosotros en el grupo. Ah, <risa> really. No, estábamos des desenredando a alguien que no, no entendía el porqué de la estructura de, de una question. Y quería preguntar oh. que dónde habían sido instaladas las partes. En the sewing machine. Ah, ¿dónde habían sido instaladas? Ajá. ¿Qué chica? Sí, bien avanzado. Sí, ajá. <ríe> Pero ahorita regresamos, amor. Ingeniero industrial. <ríe> Algo así. <ríe> bueno, ya nos vamos. Ya, pues. Gracias, buenas noches. Buenas noches, gracias.
All right. Neve, todavía no han regresado todos. <laughs> They are still working. Ya estábamos preocupados. I know. Worry, worrying. Ahí están ya. They come back. <laughs> Dicen los partners que se habían preocupado que ya se ve dónde no había un <laughs> Que si ya estábamos en la clase. <laughs> All right. It was interesting. Vaya, veamos. Tenemos, bueno, suficiente espacio, pero vamos a hacer quizás la tres de, de cada uno para no llevarnos tanto tiempo, ¿ok? Ok, déjenme ver, acá vamos el texto. Vaya del primer paragraph. ¿Alguien que me dé una question? Mm -hmm. Will be when did you buy per part for the printer? When did you buy the spare part for the printer? Okay, when did you buy the spare part for the printer? No answer. I bought I bought it. On November 1st. Okay. Oh my God. I put it on November 1st. Luna llena. Qué horrible. ¿A usted no? ¿Qué le pasa a estos perros? Ah. He's in love. He's in... He's in love. <laughs> okay. And my dog is sleeping now. Uh -huh. The next one. Nosotros, teacher, uh -huh. nosotros contestábamos como I was y el verbo en, en español doy, bye. O tenemos que responder con pasado, I go. Sí, tiene que ser en pasado los verbos. Porque acá está obviamente la pregunta en pasado. When did you buy? Cuando, es como, ¿cuándo compraste el spare part for the printer? Ah, la compré el, el, el primero de noviembre. Uh, uh -huh. okay. I bought it. Por eso es importante que nos aprendamos los verbos. Yo creo que acá en el, en el manual como tal, no viene así como que aprendamos los verbos irregulares en pasado. Pero uh -huh. parte quizás de, las, de la iniciativa propia debe ser eso. Igual, ustedes solo ponen irregular verbs in past en Google y les va a dar un montón de opciones de listas, de imprimirlas, de repasarlas, de hacer ejercicio. A lot. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Next question. ¿Alguien hizo alguna question del price? What was brand? Oh, what was the brand? What was the brand? ¿Cuál era la marca? ¿No? Eh? Uh -huh. What was the brand? The brand was? It was um, Redwell. It was Redwell. Una buena marca. <laughs> And I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Another one? Otra? Next, next. Pueden preguntar uh, por el price o el customer service. How was the customer service? Uh -huh. How? Ay, permítanme. Okay. okay. How was the customer service? Great. It was great. Uh -huh. Customer service. And it was great. Esa sería la answer, ¿verdad? It was. <coughs> it was great. And but then was, was, ask it. Why was it great? Why was it great? Or why was the customer service great? Because they, I mean, we received the information we needed. 
Okay, perfect. Vaya, pero vamos a irnos al siguiente parágrafo. La información es muy parecida. Es prácticamente pueden hacer las mismas preguntas, solo que con otros, con otra información, ¿verdad? Ajá. Who was the machine working? How? How, perdón, how. How was the machine working? Hmm. The answer? The machine was working properly. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Pueden perfectamente decir, it was working properly. It was, ya saben que se están refiriendo al machine porque es lo que les acaban de preguntar. It was working properly. Uh -huh. What else? On what machine? Mm -hmm. What, what machine, machine? Where the parts installed? Okay. The parts installed. Mm -hmm. ¿En qué máquina se instalaron las partes que mandaron a comprar? Mm -hmm. My goodness. Okay. Parts were. Uh -huh. They were installed. Podríamos were. sustituir perfectamente. They were installed. The sewing machine. On the sewing machine. Sorry. Okay. Vamos a dejar hasta acá because of the time. Me he sido poco cansado este día. <laughs> It's been a bit tired. Okay. All right. Attendance. Attendance. Les voy a compartir eh, algunos websites para que puedan practicar esto del past tense. Si me pueden recordar tomorrow in the morning, would be nice. Because, you know, I have so many things on my days. I tend to forget, okay? Carlos, Cristina. Present teacher. All right, Fermán. Present teacher. Hey, so. <laughs> Hector. Present teacher. Hi, hi. Uh, Isabel. Present. All right. Mayra. Present. Samuel, creo que se tuvo que levantar. Present. Hi, you're back. Okay, Wendy and Jackie. I am here. Present. Jacqueline. Lucy, present. Hi, Lucy. Present. Hi, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, can you stay? Está bien. All right. <laughs> <laughs> bien castigada. Usted ya conocen a Jacqueline. No. ¿Verdad que no? Ya sí, ya me mostró una vez. Yo nunca la he visto. La solicitamos. Sí, yo nunca la he visto. Bueno, ahí la voy a conocer. Ahí una vez, mañana. creo. Ahí le toma print. <ríe> I'm going to get a screenshot. Sí, no, es que es mañana. mañana la a... <ríe> Casi terminamos el curso, no la conocemos, Jackie. <ríe> Siente esa sí, presencia social, por favor. No le, no le vamos a pedir autógrafo <ríe> cuando la veamos. <ríe> Ahí le vamos a mandar el request. Cada vez. Lo que pasa es que si la vemos en la calle no la vamos a reconocer. Y ella sí. Ahí dice, ay, es como que estaba en la clase. Pero no voy a decir nada. Qué mala es aquí. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a good night, everybody. You too. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye, Jackie. Tell me the questions you have. No, pues, eh, en lo personal sí he aprendido bastante, ¿verdad? Y, y bastantes cosas, bueno, palabras, porque repaso lo que prácticamente estamos haciendo de todo lo que, bueno, no hemos visto porque yo eh, 
me salté de la 2 hasta las 5. Y sí, y ya luego aquí con ustedes. Ah. Lo que pasa es que yo ya había estudiado anteriormente. Mm. Entonces, ajá, hice el examen de evaluación y quedé en el 5. Wow, super. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Okay. Sí. ¿Y ¿Cómo le está yendo la, en, la, en la plataforma? Pues bien, la verdad, solo que hay algunas cosas para interpretar si sí me cuesta un poquito. Hay una tarea de que sí, este, no, no mucho la entiendo, pero trataré de hacerla diferente. ¿La voy a volver a hacer? Ajá, para ordenar. No, es, recuerda no que, qué tarea es para que la podamos no, ver ahorita. No, ahorita no, ah, ahorita sí. no. Ajá, sí, y ya de ahí en lo personal, ajá, en lo personal quizás me, me cuesta bastante como... Ayer hice una evaluación en el trabajo uh -huh. donde me dijeron de que tenía que ordenar mis ideas y que hay algunas palabras que no las puedo pronunciar como son. Uh -huh. Se oye como chambón, como un <risa> español de calle. A medias, <risa> un poquito más de pulida. Ajá. Sí, no. Pero eso, eso es entendible sí. porque se está en proceso de aprendizaje, pues. Sí, y la fluidez, porque la voy a... ¿Y en qué trabaja, Jacqueline? Auxiliar contable. ¿Dónde? En una empresa de transportes eh, pesados. Mm. Prácticamente es eh, todo... Le trabajamos a Unilever, Henker. Mm. Ah, pues sí, necesitan definitivamente. En ese tipo de rubros se necesita hablar otro idioma. Y sobre sí, todo inglés. Sí. Sí, en algunas cosas. Mm. Entonces, sí, eso, en lo personal, sí, eso tengo el, ese problema. Mm. Y le da mucha pena con, con, con los compañeros ponerle la cámara. No, no, pero, <risa> pero no. Es que, ajá, porque como el internet es muy bajo. Ah, entonces ya, ¿Está aprender. con datos? Sí. Sí, así definitivamente se gasta muchísimo. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene razón. Sí. Okay. True, true, true. Okay, ya ahí, ajá. Con no los tiempos, con los tiempos sí, este, más o menos, no los manejo al 100, pero sí conozco. Tiene la idea. Ajá. ajá. Sí. Solo que tenía una duda. Ah, porque utilizaba el WAS, porque los compañeros utilizaban el WAS, pero con un verbo regular. Mm, no necesariamente. El was y el were es simplemente el pasado de be. Era o estaba. Pero, Eso, uh, pero por ejemplo, vaya, si, si yo hablo de tiempo, va, puede ser un pas, pas normal, uh -huh. pas participle. Uh -huh. Entonces, según yo, el was era verbo ing. Y, pero en, en ese caso, cuando estamos usando el pas continuous, que decimos, I was studying, yo estaba estudiando. Pero, por ejemplo, si usted dice, yo estaba en la fiesta anoche, I was at the party mm -hmm. last night. Mm -hmm. O sea, sí tiene varias, sí. varias utilidades, ¿no? Es como que solo una y ya no lo utilicen uh -huh. más como otra cosa. Tiene okay. varias utilidades. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. y, y el tema también que estamos viendo sobre la, como sugerencia, de utilizar el call, short y, y mouse. Ese de este, solo tengo también una duda, uh -huh. porque si yo digo, eh, eh, lo voy a tratar de decir en inglés, ok, uh -huh. Uh -huh. y is, eh, take the, um, make the, si yo tomo mucho uh -huh. alcohol, ¿qué puedo hacer para evitarlo? Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí yo le doy sugerencia, pero no sé cómo se le llama esa parte. Give a suggestion, recommendation. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Like you okay. should, you should, you should drink water. <laughs> you shouldn't drink y, alcohol. Y en qué, o sea, y en qué momento podría utilizar? Porque vaya, para sugerencias mm -hmm. es el shot para eh, cosas de poder es can cold mm -hmm. y como obligación es el most, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Así es. 
Ahí en, depende Entonces, en cualquier contexto. Por ejemplo, hasta en su caso, usted dice, I should study more, yo debería estudiar más. Entonces, como usted misma se puede sugerir. O dice, oh, I must finish this report tonight. Tengo que terminar esto. O sea, must. ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh -huh. Dice, no, but I, I can do it tomorrow. No, pero si lo puedo hacer mañana. Entonces, eso va a depender de los contextos en los que lo quiere expresar. Eso no tiene como delimitante. O sea, puede ser en cualquier contexto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y, y para, porque también me pasa de que no, sí entiendo lo que me están diciendo, pero hay palabras que como no las conozco y, y me da como que si le contesto en este tiempo o pues se lo contesto así, no sé si está bien. Sí, eso, eso es como desarrollar la confianza a través de la práctica para que no le pase quizás el que, el que desconozca tantas palabras puede ir haciendo como su... Vocabulary log, como, uh -huh. llevan, ajá, como un diario de palabras, con, con ejemplos, siendo ajá, la palabra utilizada en un contexto más propio de donde usted se mueve, ¿verdad? No necesariamente en un contexto de los libros, sino que es más como el contexto de, de donde usted lo podría utilizar. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Sí, prácticamente eso, ¿verdad? Ok, Jacqueline. Thank you very much. No la vamos a reconocer. Ay, le, le Mañana. La... Ah. Bueno. <risa> Vaya, pues. Mañana. Ok, Mañana. Bueno, muchas gracias. Le agradezco. Thank you. Bueno.